Welcome to our video about guidelines for a diabetic diet by survivingdiabetes.com. A diabetic diet should include high quality proteins from meat, poultry, fish, and dairy. If you're vegetarian, look for sources of protein in plant foods such as tofu, soy milk, and tempeh. Other high protein foods include nuts, legumes, and whole grains. Vegetarians should focus on protein rich vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. In addition to protein-rich food sources, vegetarians should also include whole grain cereals and pasta. Meal Plan for Diabetics A good meal plan for diabetics should contain many different kinds of foods. A good meal will include a whole variety of foods, such as grilled fish with salsa. Almost half of your plate should contain fresh vegetables. A small salad will be perfect as well, but you should avoid croutons, bacon, and fattening ranch dressing. Listed below are some of the most important food categories to focus on when creating a meal plan for diabetics. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy, and they can spike blood sugar levels. Most people with diabetes should consume at least 5 to 10 portions of fruits and vegetables each day. However, not all carbohydrates are broken down in the body. Fiber-rich foods, such as fruits and vegetables, help control blood sugar levels and help prevent high blood glucose levels. They can also provide the necessary nutrients a diabetic needs. Using a meal plan for diabetics is an essential part of eating a healthy diet. Diabetics need approximately 1,200 to 1,600 calories per day. The right meal plan for diabetics should be customized for each diabetic's needs. If you aren't sure what type of meal plan you need, talk to your doctor or a dietitian. If you are struggling to find meals that are easy to prepare, use a cookbook or search online for recipes. Plan out quick, easy meals and double recipes if you can. Dairy is another food group to include in your meal plan. While dairy is high in protein and fats, it also contains carbohydrates. So, when you're looking for a meal plan for diabetics, make sure that it includes high-quality, grass-fed dairy. Choose plain full-fat yogurt, but avoid adding added sugar. Fruit juices also contain sugar, so you should limit your intake of these beverages. Guidelines for a Diabetic Diet Following guidelines for a diabetic diet is crucial for people with diabetes. Typically, 50-60% to 60 of a person's daily caloric intake should be carbohydrates, followed by 12-20% to 20 protein and no more than 30% fat. To avoid extreme fluctuations in blood glucose, it is important to distribute daily calories equally over three meals. Eating a small, nutritious snack between meals is also essential for diabetics. A person with diabetes must exercise carefully in order to control blood glucose levels and prevent hypoglycemia. Strenuous exercise may strain the circulatory system and muscles and increase the risk of a heart attack. However, the doctor will take into consideration the patient's diabetes control and any other existing cardiac or circulatory conditions. In such a case, they may prescribe special activity restrictions. A person should always seek medical advice before beginning any exercise program. Diabetes can have several complications, including increased blood glucose levels and reduced sensitivity to insulin. In addition, untreated diabetes may cause a person to produce less insulin than normal, causing an increase in urine output and dehydration. The body cells also don't respond to insulin, which means that too much glucose builds up in the blood and passes out in the urine. In the meantime, the cells do not receive the proper energy they need to grow and function properly. Glucose, or simple sugar, is the primary source of energy for body cells. In the digestive process, glucose is broken down by intestinal cells and carried into the bloodstream. It travels from the bloodstream to all cells in the body. Without insulin, glucose cannot enter the cells and starve them of energy. This means that a person suffering from diabetes should eat foods rich in glucose to keep blood sugar levels healthy. Foods to eat Although people with diabetes should avoid added sugars and limit hidden sugars, they do not have to forego dessert. The key to eating dessert is to focus on the type of carbohydrates you choose and the amount you eat. Whole grain carbohydrates, for example, are a healthier choice because they contain fiber and are digested slowly, so they are better for blood sugar levels. Diabetics should also watch how much they spend on calorie-laden sugars because many of these sweetened products are not suitable for their blood glucose levels. 
When it comes to proteins, lean meats like poultry and fish are good choices. They contain high levels of protein and may help to reduce the spikes in blood sugar. In addition to chicken and turkey, other lean proteins to include in your diet are zucchini noodles, soy products, nuts, and legumes. Whole grain foods like oatmeal and quinoa also provide plenty of protein and fiber. If you want to control your blood sugar levels, you must learn to read food labels. The ideal plate would contain half starches, a third non-starchy vegetable, and the fourth serving of lean protein. Avoid meals with high levels of saturated fat. Alcohol also stokes the appetite, so it's best to limit alcohol to a glass or two a day. If you have diabetes, learning how to read food labels is vital for keeping blood glucose levels under control. Despite what you may think, eating on a diabetic diet is actually possible. By following a healthy diet plan, you'll be able to eat the foods you love without having to sacrifice your diabetes medications. As long as you pay attention to your portion sizes and the timing of meals, you'll be on the road to good health. You can also try searching for healthy recipes online or download apps that make it easy to follow a healthy diet plan. Remember that the fat content should be in proportion to the amount of carbohydrates you consume. Meal Planning Meal planning is an essential part of diabetes management, not just for managing blood sugar levels. It also helps you control your weight, as it allows you to eat healthier foods and stay within your target blood glucose level. Meal planning should be done in conjunction with a doctor and a dietitian. Their expertise in diabetes and nutrition can provide advice and guidance on what foods to eat and what to avoid. Listed below are some tips for meal plans for diabetes. When you first start living with diabetes, it can be difficult to adjust to the dietary changes required to stay healthy. Make small changes first. Cut out sweet beverages and stick to water instead. Eat more home-cooked meals. Focus on fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Once you get the hang of it, meal planning becomes more of a necessity. A proper meal plan will include a wide variety of delicious foods while remaining within your calorie limit. Adapting to your diabetes is easier than you might think. Meal plans for people with diabetes can be tailored to suit different calorie levels. You can choose a meal plan for weight gain or loss, depending on your goals. Choose a meal plan that provides about half of your daily calorie intake from carbohydrates and half from protein and fat. Low-fat meats and salad are also great options. A healthy diet will help you control your food intake and maintain your desired weight. Meal plans for children with diabetes should be designed around the amount of calories a child needs to grow. Three small meals and snacks a day should provide a sufficient amount of calories. Make sure you follow the diet guidelines set by your doctor. Additionally, it is helpful to consult a registered dietitian for advice and portion control. These professionals are experts in nutrition and food and will help you design the right meal plan for your child. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Stay healthy and fight diabetes.